You're watching coverage of the 2023 Digital Dealer Conference and Expo in Las Vegas on CBT News. We're at Digital Dealer 2023 in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're sitting here with Wendy Englehart, who is the Strategic Solutions Manager at Automotive Mastermind. I know that's a company that you've heard a lot about here in the retail automotive industry. Wendy, thank you so much for taking the time and your busy schedule here at the show. Thank you for having me, Jim. It's sure. a pleasure to be here. Sure. So talk to me. What You know, you hear so much about uh, omni-channel. You know, what, what, uh, what does an omni-channel experience mean to you? It means meeting customers where they're at, okay. right? Not everybody is going to have the same buying journey. Right. And so you really have to make sure that you have all channels available to them, that things right. are simple and easy. Mm -hmm. And finally, even with your you know, your communications and your outreach, right. you, you want to keep that in mind there as well. Sure. Make sure you're you know, uh, providing multiple channels for people to communicate with right. you right. Um, and that each one sort of seamlessly transitions to the next. That's right, that's right. Yeah. And it's almost essential today that dealers think about this in a much more proactive way. Absolutely. Than ever before, right? Yes. Yeah, because yes. the way the industry is changing. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Again, not everyone's going to shop the same way, so you know, you just, you really have to make sure that you're pr providing um, sure. variety and flexibility. Sure. What is the best channel to engage customers today? The best channel is whatever that customer prefers. <laughs> it's whatever the customer says, <laughs> yeah. that's now the best. Yes, that's exactly. Right. I that's can't right. say it enough. You have yeah. to meet customers where they're at. Okay. And so providing um, a, a good experience across all channels. Right. And again, making sure that they flow. Mm -hmm. So the customer's not having to continually start all over again. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, right? yeah. It, it is the worst. So instead, you want to make sure that each touch point right. builds upon the last. Right, yeah. right, right. And we, we still hear today that in the industry that we're still struggling with that. With all the technology that's out there, you still get consumers that'll go online and they'll make a review about a dealership to go, yeah, I love the price. I love the, you know, the salesperson or the manager when I met them or what have you. But man, there was a huge disconnect there that when I went into the dealership coming offline, they weren't ready for me. Yes, right? it, yeah. that's exactly right. Yeah. And not only when they transition from um, online to in-store, mm -hmm. but even within the, the, the departments within the dealership, okay. right? So dealers would um, do very well to start kind of not only breaking down those interdepartmental silos, but making sure that the teams across departments are collaborating and um, like again, seamlessly transitioning customers from one department to the other. Right, right. How, what are some other ways that, that dealers can focus on the customer experience? You hear so much about it. But <laughs> Right. Yeah. I mean, that's what it, that's where it's at today. It, 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 yeah. And it's very important. Yeah. Right. There's a lot of disruptors right. out there right now. Right. And so I think the best thing um, is to make the process easier mm -hmm. and for God's sake, speed it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think speeding up the process yep. is the single most important thing that dealers and the industry can do right. to fight off the disruptor brands. That's right, that's um, right. I think that it's it's just absolutely critical that we get things moving a little bit faster. We, we still don't know why, you know, I ask this question so many dealer groups and so many people that are, that are in retail automotive, why is it taking so long to sell a consumer a car? Even after they've said, yes, I'll take it, let's go, I know what the trade is, I know what the interest rate is, I have an idea what my monthly payments are, and yet it's still four and a half hours. Yeah, right? I Crazy. think it's very important to even if it means changing processes big time, yeah. to make that a priority. Right, I agree, um, I agree. A lot of times it does come down to what I was saying before about like, you know, the, the silos or the friction between departments, yeah. having the right amount of staff, right. right? If it's a busy Saturday, you better make sure you have enough finance right. people to get those people, That's you right. know, to get your customers in and out That's of those right. offices. That's right, no yeah. question about yeah. it. Yeah, also, you know, um, I think Dealerships also need to take their outreach and marketing into account when thinking about customer CRX as well. Sure. Tailor each communication specific to that customer mm -hmm. and their needs. Mm -hmm. With all of the data and tech that we have available, it's really a pretty simple thing to do. Right. Um, so make sure that each outreach and touch point is, is meaningful and purposeful right. and that you're not just um, calling the customer today because your CRM told you to do it <laughs> and then you and then you don't yeah. have anything meaningful to say no, to them. That's, right. that's, that's right. just a waste of your time. That's it a is. waste of the customer's time. And it gets them mad. It gets them mad yeah. and now you're looking at bad customer experience right. and potentially bad CSI. That's right. 
That's right, yeah. no question about it. And Automotive Mastermind is known for getting great data to that dealer for to take care of the consumers, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, um, so both within our software mm -hmm. and our marketing platform, mm -hmm. and you know, there's a, there's a, a again a lot of data and tech out there right. that can really help dealers identify right. with laser precision yeah. not only who they should be talking to, right. when they should be speaking to them, and yeah. exactly what to say to them because right. you you can find out there really everything yeah. about that customer's current situation sure. in their vehicle. Sure. And then speak to that, right? right. That's right. Uh, give well, them the yeah. feature benefits, all of that. Sure, sure. Um, what potentially their next deal could even look like. Yep. Um, yep. And and so there, there's, it's, we're really beyond the days of doing, especially at the tier three dealer level, of this big net fishing vague yeah. blanket offers, yeah. I, yeah. this really should stop. No, I mean, there's no question about it. And the consumers are demanding that we stop, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Let tier one and tier two yep. do the, you know, the big branding, the That's mass right. marketing, That's all right. of that. That's Dealership right. should be selling what, cars one to one. Sure. What other trends are you noticing out there and what are your recommendations to dealers based on those trends? Yeah, the number one trend I see absolutely is defection okay right um so brand loyalty yeah. was already at an all-time low yep. uh dealership loyalty all-time low right there's more nomads in the market than ever before yeah and these the nomads are also being distracted a lot right, right? so they're being distracted by new models yeah. especially in the ev space That's right. That's right they're also being distracted by digital retailers mm -hmm. and other new ways to buy vehicles mm -hmm. So it's um, it's it's very critical that we do something about this. So number one, dealers need to protect their loyalty, mm -hmm. whatever you know remaining loyalty they have. Sure. They need to protect it as if their business depends on it, right? Because it, it does. does. <laughs> say, yeah. Number one. Yeah. Uh, the second thing um, is to go into conquest mode. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to preserving, mm -hmm. you know, existing or remaining loyalty, yep. um, I, that's why we want to continue talking about customer CX okay. and providing a great customer experience. Okay. If one of your customers had a great buying experience last time yeah. and you've done a good job taking care of them in your drive mm -hmm. and you know all of that, they're likely to purchase again from you, but you can't just take it for granted. Right. So you need to show your loyalty customers that you value them right. and invite them in using, you know, data driven, yep. omni channel, yep. one to one, you know, information yep. and offers. Yep. Um, and then when it comes to conquesting, I really believe every dealership should be thinking about conquesting right sure. now. Again, more nomads in the market. Yeah, so there's huge opportunities ever before. Yeah. yeah. So not only do we need to replenish right. our loyalty That's right. databases, That's right. but this is like prime time to go grab market share. Of course. A lot of dealers are still sleeping. That's right. So for those that That's right. you know aren't yeah. hitting the snooze button and want to get up, great you advice. can go steal a ton of share there's, right now. There's no question about it. Yeah. Do you think that this uh, lack of loyalty came and, and really was driven by COVID and the shortage of vehicles out there and people just said, okay, I, I just need a truck. I used to be a Ford right. buyer, but you know, I just need a truck. So if right. Ford doesn't have it or, you know, Toyota doesn't have it, I'm gonna go Yeah. I'm gonna go around if I'm not working. Absolutely. I can get. Yeah. So pre COVID um, defection was already on the rise. Right. Big time. Right. Um, you know, brand and dealership loyalty sure. were already sure. low. But COVID and then the inventory crisis yeah. just absolutely exacerbated that. Right. I mean, almost diminished it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> um, it does. You it know, did. completely. There's no question about it. Um, and again, I, I really think not only individual dealers, but the industry as a whole yeah. really have to think hard yep. about fixing the customer experience. Yep. Um, I would because agree. there, again, there's a lot of disruptors. Yeah. So before I let you go, and I appreciate all the time you've given us here at the show, what's new at Automotive Mastermind? Well, we have a very exciting roadmap for uh, Q4, and even more exciting roadmap for 2024. Okay. Um, one of the most exciting things we've just done is um, launch our API. Okay. So that's going to allow us to integrate with you know other industry partners, yeah, OEMs, yeah. dealer groups, yeah. CDPs. It's going to allow us just to take um, you know our our accuracy yeah. to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. um, so very excited about that, as well as some products we're developing on our own, and also with our parent company S and P Global. Okay. Um, That's so, huge. Yeah. What, yeah. what a partnership there. Yeah, it is. Wow. I mean, we're a serious data powerhouse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We already were, but it's yeah. That's, that's it's, fantastic. 
big think, dogs. You think 2024 will be a good year for car dealers? I do, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we're turning a corner. Again, I think everybody kind of needs to remain a little bit flexible. Mm -hmm. We are certainly in a transitional time mm -hmm. yeah. right now. Um, so I think you just kind of have to be ready for whatever. Yep. Um, maybe, you know, avoid being too reactionary. Mm -hmm. um, that's another thing. I, I, a trend I <laughs> have noticed in the industry for over oh, yeah. 20 years oh, is yeah. that we can be a bit reactionary. Yes, we are. So, you know, I'd say, you know, stay calm, do your research, be right. a little bit more farsighted, and, yep. Um, yep. and you'll win big time. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Wendy Englehart, Strategic Solutions Manager at Automotive Mastermind. Check them out online. These are the kinds of solutions that we want to be bringing you here at CBT News. So, Wendy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I really great. appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for watching CBT News coverage of the 2023 Digital Dealer Conference in Las Vegas.